Syria. Conflict has riddled the country for almost three years. With war has come massive destruction and development challenges that have transformed not only Syria, but also the neighboring countries facing economic, social, and political upheavals due to the fallout. The development of Syria has been unraveled during the span of 36 months. Almost 35 years' worth of development investments have been lost. More than 7.9 million people have been thrust into poverty. 6.8 million people living in Syria's 14 governorates are now in dire need of humanitarian assistance. With thousands fleeing their countries for the sake of their lives and livelihoods, the crisis no longer pertains only to Syria. In addition to Syria, communities in Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq and Turkey now need support. The humanitarian response in Syria must be complemented by a development response in neighboring countries to preserve development gains achieved over the years. The Syrian refugee crisis is distinctly different. More than 80% of refugees live in communities and not in camps. If the situation persists, by the end of 2014, more than 4 out of 10 people in Lebanon will be Syrian refugees. In Jordan, 95% of the refugees live in the four northernmost governorates. Governorates already challenged by development setbacks are now experiencing intense competition for resources such as land, water, housing, education, and employment. These development and humanitarian crises are intertwined. Funding for development is not only necessary in order to support communities in crisis, but also build sustainability. UNDP has pinpointed the crisis and has created a response that can shift these dire straits. Working with the affected communities to generate more durable responses to the challenges they are facing and helping them cope with a crisis, recover from its impacts and sustain development investments, UNDP is fostering a resilience-based development approach that includes vocational skills training, livelihood creation, rapid employment generation, access to basic services, housing, water, health, peace building through media, civil society organizations, and educators. To ensure better coordination to this regional crisis, UNDP has also established a sub-regional facility in Amman composed of a multidisciplinary team supporting the work of five country offices focused on delivering cost-effective results. The resilience-based development approach is an opportunity. It is an opportunity to complement humanitarian efforts with a strong, sustainable lens. With every hour of delay, the crisis grows. The people of the region can no longer wait. Their futures can no longer depend on time. Let us create communities of resilience and give them hope. UNDP, building resilience, creating hope.